With the new Lightroom update, some new features have been added in Mask, which are the curves. And I don't know if you've gotten the update or seen the update video, but I will link it in the description. And it worked really cool for adjusting skin tones and specifically the highlights. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Yeah. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you a really cool feature that I actually guarantee you probably haven't seen anywhere else because the update just came out. And I think this is gonna be the first video on it. That's, that's pretty cool. First video on YouTube showing a technique. Let's go <laughs> for the win. Um, anyways, I'm also testing out something different. So do you notice anything in this video compared to other videos that looks different? If so, comment in the description, let me know because I'm testing something. Anyways, here we go. Let's get into Lightroom first. I'm going to turn this photo with simple adjustment into this, and we're going to turn this photo into this. Now, I don't know if you notice, but basically we're just tweaking the skin tones, the highlights. So when you use lights, flashes, whatever, sometimes you get those hot spots on the face, on the, on the forehead, on the, the nose, the cheeks, the lips, things like that. That's not bad. Highlights are a good thing. It creates contour and shine and makes it look good. But sometimes it can kind of be a difference in the skin tone and look a little weird. So with the new updates, you can use the luminance mask to adjust these. So let me show you what I mean. And it's so cool. All right, so we're gonna take this photo and we're only going to do one adjustment. Now these photos I got from Pexels, so they're not actually my images, but they are great photos to show this example. But you see how she's very highlighted, right? That's not a bad thing, but let's kind of blend the skin tones a little bit nicer. So we're gonna to go to the mask, we're going to create range, and we're going to use luminance range. Then we're going to use these sliders and we're going to slide this all the way over, all the way until we just get the highlights. So let's say right, I think we're gonna do right there. Okay, good. And then we're going to take this little bracket, which is the fall off the feather, and we're going to slide the feather out to about 45 right there. So this just kind of makes a smooth transition between the highlights because you don't want to add corruption in the image. Now we're just going to scroll down to the curves adjustment and we're going to adjust the curves. That's all we're going to do to adjust the skin tones. That's how easy this is. So the first thing we're gonna do is adjust the whites and we're just gonna lower it down to 251. Now, I will caution you, the curved adjustment is very, 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 very powerful. If you go too far, you will really quickly corrupt the image if you push it too far, as you can see. So just be very, very gentle with your adjustments on any curves adjustment, whether it's in the masks, whether it's on your main photo, very, very slight adjustments. So this one, we're just gonna bring this up to 251. If you look here in the top left of the curves box, you can see the, uh, the actual values. So then we're gonna go to red. Now we wanna add a little bit of color into these highlights. So we're gonna add some red. So we're gonna drag it up till the, it looks about good. You can kind of eye spot this with your eyes a little bit, but let's say 247. Now look at the difference already. So here's the before, here's the after. The skin tone just looks richer and just nicer. And then we're not gonna add any greens or magentas cause we don't wanna add any of those, but we do wanna add a little bit of yellow, a little bit of warmth to it. So we're gonna take the yellows and we're going to drag it to just about 250. Remember, minor, minor, minor adjustments. And there we go, that's all we did. So here's the before, here's the after. I mean, just those little tweaks, we have adjusted the highlights. Now she still has the highlights and they look good, but her skin tones look super, super nice. Now you do notice that we have adjusted the backdrop. So simply come up to your, your mask, subtract and backdrop. And there you go. Now you are just adjusting what is shown in green. That's the overlay. And you've made these beautiful adjustments and it's so freaking fast, so freaking powerful. So let's go into the next image here and we're going to do the exact same technique. So we're gonna create a mask. We're going to go to range, luminance range. We're going to adjust the luminance range to about, let's see, right about, we just want the highlights, remember? So right about there, good. And then we're going to adjust the feather 
and the feather is gonna go to about there. Good, so it looks like we're doing almost the entire skin, but it's not because there's such a fall off. There's a feather out of the highlights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the curves, start with the whites, and we're going to adjust the whites. Now we're gonna darken these a little bit more. So we're gonna go to 40, already looking better, look before, after. Just kind of took off that highlight, that shine, which is really nice. Let's go to the red. We're gonna add a little bit of red here. So we're gonna go to about 246, perfect. Uh, greens and magentas. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of magenta. So we're gonna pull this down and go to, not too much, because if you go too much, she looks pink. We don't want that. We just want a little bit of magenta in there, maybe 249, good, that looks great. And then we'll add a little bit of warmth and let's do about 242. Perfect, that just makes her skin look so freaking rich and beautiful. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, a couple of other tweaks we're gonna do here with the basic panel on this mask. We're going to up the highlights by about four because we still want that that shine on, her, not, not the shine on her face, but we want to make her face glow, look really uh, alive. So we're gonna add just a little bit of highlights, maybe plus five, then, we're going to lower the blacks to about minus 10, just to kind of get those dark, rich colors in there. And we're gonna lower the saturation to about minus, let's say seven, just to kind of even out everything, take a little bit of the orange tones out of her skin so it has that deep, rich look. And then finally, we're going to soften the whole thing and we're gonna just drop the clarity to about minus 10. And there we go. So with just the mask adjustments, the luminance adjustments, here's the before. Here is the after. Personally, I think that looks so much more alive and just absolutely beautiful than it did before. It just has so much color and vibrance in it and just looks super nice. But that's how powerful using the curves adjustment with your masks can be, especially with the luminance. So definitely hit that like button because let me tell you, that's an awesome trick, especially if you don't wanna use Photoshop. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, just as a note, the thing I mentioned prior that was different was I'm using a different light. And if you like the look of this light over my previous videos, let me know in the comments because I'm really liking this new light I got and I think you guys might be interested in it. So let me know and I'll make a video on it as well. Yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if this is the first time you see it, definitely comment below and say, hey, first time on YouTube, what's up? <laughs> and if uh, you want to check out the next video, here's what YouTube recommends you watch. So hope it helps. See you next time.